So, hello guys, I'm Sean and I thought I'd make a little video about something interesting I found on the internet. And basically it's called P5XR and if you search it on YouTube you just find weird stuff, so just check it out. But this is like a package of uh, P5JS and WebXR to make R and VR on the web. So these are the two technologies involved in the process and someone mixed them together P5XR was born basically and so this is the website you can check it out on P5XR.org basically and yeah this is the thing that I said about and if you see on the feature the thing that you can do is virtual reality Augmented reality, the, th the thing that I found most interesting about, and also some recasting. But let's skip it and see one example of AR. So you can see it runs also on the P5.js editor on the web. And basically there's not such a good documentation about it, it's just some example of it. So let's, let's see that. So in the setup we can see there's like create canvas, create AR canvas, we specify the type of canvas, then there are some variables, then the function draw that probably is gonna rotate the cube, right, yeah, the box, and basically if you run that, it just has spinning, some free spinning cubes aligned together, and you just see it in basically AR, so when you open the, the sketch on your browser, on your telephone of course you're gonna click on a button and then you're gonna see the free uh, box running and yeah basically that's kind of all of it I mean <laughs> there's not uh, documentation there's just I think trial and error you know and so I made a, a simple sketch by myself and I was too lazy to have a domain so I just put it on a random Tumblr page, because you know Tumblr is a good <laughs> domain if you don't have anything and you can just slap in some good HTML JS, you know, it works. So I just imported the JavaScript, the P5.js and I imported as a CDN P5XR, just created the setup function with create the R canvas and a camera. And so basically I can see around and also see myself in the same time with my texture, like the texture of my face, of my video, the frontal video camera on a really nice cube that's floating around in the space. It's, it's not so much, but honest work, you know? So that's the example, you know? So if just, uh, just like 10 lines of code, I mean, you can do such a really unique stuff already, you know, putting yourself in the space, in the 3D air space and using the frontal and back photo camera in the same time, and that's the crazy thing about it. And yeah, so basically that's it. I mean, there's not so much documentation. It's of course based on, on WebGL. So basically, yeah, it just I throw that in the universe because there are really zero video about it on the internet. And so I thought maybe someone was interested in discovering or just trying out this maybe potential because I'm not so good at programming. So let's see what people will do on the internet. Bye.